Eric, your mother and I have been talking. Since I've been cut back to part-time at the plants, and the, uh, the hospital is so close, I can take the Toyota to work, and your mom can take the bus. Honey, really, I I'd rather walk. When I ride the bus in my nurse's uniform, people always show me their scars. Then I'll drop you off on my way to the plant. Well, no, I don't want to be any trouble. Then Eric can drop you off. Oh, honey, he's a teenager. He doesn't want to drop Well, off. if he can't drop his own mother off at work, well, then I'll be damned if he's getting the car. Okay. Excuse me. Am I getting the car? We didn't say that. <laughs> Things don't just drop into your lap, Eric. Not in this life. <laughs> Car is a responsibility. You'll need insurance? You have any idea how much insurance is? A car is a privilege. Oil changes, road flares, fluids. That's your job. A car is not a bedroom on wheels. Always yield. Always. Lori's friend got pregnant in a car. Don't let that happen. If I find one beer can in that car, it's over. And no donuts either. Ants. So, do I get the car? Bitchin'. Karen, not in front of your mother. Thank you, Pop. Sir. Yeah, well. Clean the attic. 